Hello friends, welcome to Learners Forum. So let us see about the data representation in this video. In general, if we consider any data, it can be represented in many ways. So the representation of how to write the data is mentioned here, which is of two types, magnitude and complement. So what is magnitude and what are the types in magnitude will be the further classification. So under magnitude, we have it as unsigned magnitude representation and signed magnitude representation. Similarly, under complement, we have one's complement and two's complement representation. So this unsigned representation is used to represent any positive binary number. And signed representation is used to represent positive and negative binary numbers. So this is the difference between unsigned and signed. One's complement can be used for positive and bi negative binary numbers. Similarly, two's complement can also be used for positive and negative binary numbers. So the important thing to be noted here is in all the four methods we have the same representation that is for when we consider it for a positive number representation remains the same for all the four methods. Now let us see it one by one in detail. First is unsigned magnitude representation. Unsigned in the sense it is used to represent a positive binary number. For example if it is plus 5 using this A421 technique we can write it as 101 one to the base 2 which is a equivalent binary number. This is for positive number. We can represent it for negative number when it is minus 5. Since unsigned magnitude representation is used only for positive binary, negative numbers cannot be represented. So this is the thing which we have seen in the introduction. So negative numbers cannot be represented using this unsigned magnitude representation. So whenever it is unsigned type, we have to remember that it is only for positive numbers. Next for signed magnitude type, we can represent both the positive numbers and the negative numbers. So plus 5 is represented as 101. When it is minus 5, it is again the same value of 101. So to make the difference between plus 5 and minus 5, we have to add an initial bit in the first one. So this 0 represents it is a positive number. So whenever the MSB bit is 0, it means that it is a positive number. And this is called as a sign bit, which is always 0 for a positive number. When it is minus 5, we have to take the sign bit as 1. So for positive number, it is 0, 1, 0, 1, which represents plus 5. And for minus 5, it is 1. This one is the sign bit which represents that it is a negative number and bit is 0 for positive number and it is 1 for a negative number. So the range of the signed magnitude is from minus 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 to 2 power n minus 1 minus 1. So if n is equal to 4, substituting the value of n in this format we will get minus 2 power 3 minus 1 to 2 power 3 minus 1 which is 2 power 3 is 8, 8 minus 1 is 7. So minus 7 to again plus 7. So this will be the range of signed magnitude representation starting from minus 7 to 7 whenever the value of n is equal to 4. Now let us see for the first complement that is 1's complement. Example find 1's complement of minus 5. So minus 5 is a negative number. We can use this one's complement to write for both the positive number and the negative number. Minus 5. So first let us write the value of 5 in binary. So in positive way we have it as 5 is 101. So plus 5 means we have including the sign bit we have it as 0101. Next for minus 5. We have to write the one's complement which means we have to replace the value of zeros and ones from the given positive number. So replace 0 with 1 and 1 with 0 we will get 1010 which is the equivalent ones complement for the given value. Let us solve one more example find the ones complement of minus 9. So first we have to write the value of plus 9 which is equal to the 9 representation using 8421 technique will be 8 plus 1 is 9 so 1 and 1 will be under 8 and 1 remaining 0. So 1, 0, 0, 1 will be the representation of plus 9. So to find the 1's complement of minus 9, we have to replace zeros with 1 and 1's with 0. So it will be 
0 1 1 and 0 so this is the equivalent ones complement value for minus 9 now let us see the range of this ones complement format which is minus 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 2 plus 2 power n minus 1 minus 1. Similarly, when substituting the value of n is equal to 4, we will get minus 7 to plus 7 at the range of this one's complement value which is similar to the previous one. Let us see the special case now. When it is plus 0, we can represent it as 4 zeros. When we take the complement for this positive value which is minus 0, we will get 1 1 1 1 which means the first case represents the positive 0 and the second case represents the negative 0. So, there is a huge difference between this positive 0 and negative 0. So, for positive 0, the value is entirely 0 and for negative 0, it is purely 1. Now, let us see for 2's complement. So, the example is find the 2's complement of plus 5 or the question can be in the other way which is representation of minus 5 using 2's complement. So, the question can be on the either half of the way. So, let us solve this question. So, first we have to write the value for 5. So, plus 5 has the value. Since it is a positive number, we have 0, 1, 0, 1 as the value of plus 5. Let us take the 1's complement first. 0 instead of 1, we have to take 0. So, replacing zeros and ones, we have got 1010. Zero, one, zero. To find the 2's complement, we have to simply add 1 to the last bit. So, we will get 1011, one, one, which is the 2's complement for the given number. Or we can take it in the other way, which is, which is representation of minus 5. So, the question can be of the two formats, but the answer remains the same. So, for 1's complement, we have to replace zeros and ones, and for 2's complement, we have to add 1. So, here we can use the shortcut also. Starting from the last bit, we have to see if we have any zeros until the first one we have to copy. Since we don't have any zero, we can copy the one as such which is the first one and the remaining terms we have to replace zero with one and one with zero as per the shortcut. So, it is zero and one. So, one zero one one will be the two's complement answer. So, this shortcut we have seen in the last video itself. Let us solve one more example. Represent minus 6 using 2's complement. So let us represent plus 6 first, which is a positive number using this A421 technique. So under this 4 plus 2 is 6. So we will have 1 here remaining 0. So 0, 1, 1, 0 will be the representation for positive number 6. We have to obtain 2's complement. So let us find the 1's complement first. So to get the 1's complement, we have to replace 0 with 1 and 1 with 0. So, 1, 0, 0 and 1. To get the 2's complement, we have to add 1 to the last bit. So, plus 1. Adding the bits now, 1 plus 1 is 0. Remaining 1. So, 1, 0, 1. So, 1, 0, 1, 0 will be the 2's complement for the given number. Let us use the shortcut now. So, copy all the zeros starting from the least bit. So, first zero. Until the first one, we have to copy the bits. So, the first one is here. So, we can write that also. And after that, the remaining bits has to be replaced with zeros with one and ones with zero. So, zero and here we have one. So, one zero, one zero will be the answer which is similar to the previous method also. So, here we have a small note which is no positive negative zero concept is here. So like in the previous case, we have seen separate positive zero and separate negative zero, but here we have got only one zero here. Let us verify that now. So plus zero is represented with four zeros. Taking the ones complement, we will get it as four ones. And to get the twos complement, we have to simply add one to the last bit. So adding this, we will get four zeros along with a carry which means there is no positive 0 and negative 0, both are the same values. So, there is only one 0 in this particular concept of 2's complement. So, this makes the difference between the 2's complement and the previous method. So, the range is minus 2 power n minus 1, 2, 2 power n minus 1, minus 1.
if we substitute the value of n is equal to 4 here we will get it as minus 2 power 4 minus 1 2 power 4 minus 1 minus 1 which is 2 power 3 solving this we will get minus 8 to plus 7 so in the previous cases we have got it as minus 7 to plus 7 whereas in this particular representation it is from minus 8 to plus 7 so this is the difference between the different types of data representation